I have a son, he's 29 years old, and he has autism. And although he'll be 29, he functions anywhere between a three to five year old, so he requires constant supervision and care. It was a big surprise for us to take that in, and it just turned our world upside down. Although his behaviors were out of the norm, we just thought that was just part, part for the course because of his treatment. And I was like, maybe this is just a terrible tools. But the behavior began to get progressively worse and he was just acting out. So it was recommended that we take him in for evaluation. And at that time, we learned that he had autism as well. Well, because of Lennox's illness and our concern for his health, we really didn't trust anyone else to care for him. So my husband stayed home and took care of him for numerous years. And as a result, we had very minimal income and we weren't able to buy a home. And a lot of things that we had hoped for and expected to do, we weren't able to do in life. After Hurricane Katrina, our lives were changed because we kind of lost family members in contact with a lot of people and we didn't have anyone to care for him. And I worked for the state of Louisiana, so I needed care. And uh, a coworker told me about the Volunteers of America and how satisfied she was with their services and recommended that I give them a try. I will be working with Lennox for nine years. He's just a jolly person, loves to run around, loves to tease. He just shows a lot, a lot of love also back in his own ways. Well, having the VOA service has been a very uh, big help to us because anytime you have a special needs, especially adult child with the many problems like Lennox, uh, it's very helpful to have help. Uh, he requires 24-7 supervision. He's not able to care for himself. He needs someone to help him with uh, bathing and brushing his teeth and dressing. And also he's not aware of safety or, uh, or dangers. He requires lots of attention, but nonetheless, Lennox has brought us joy with a lot of the funny moments and a lot of his little antics. <laughs> so we just thank God that we still have him. We are older now, and we know that we won't be with him always. Uh, so we are concerned as to who will care for him. It's a good thing to just go ahead and introduce him to other people so that if something should happen, it just won't be so shocking to them and they'll be familiar with other people. I met Miss Annette. A friend of mine introduced me to her. We got married in 1973. We moved here in 1981. Not too long after we moved into the house is when my health problems started to really go bad. Every three to five years since then, I've had a back surgery. I've had a total of 10. He couldn't go down the, the thing with the walker without any ramp by himself. And then I was afraid he'd fall. He loses his balance very easily. And I wanted him to go outside to be with the grandkids. He couldn't even go outside and watch the kids. I had to have help getting off of this chair to get up to go to the bathroom to go eat. I couldn't get up on my own. And Mike needed a ramp. We were trying to get him a motorized scooter and in order for us to get the scooter, you had to show proof. You had a fire exit where he could get out of the house. And even though it was only like four and a half inches, you had to have a ramp. We weren't sure about the code, so I called Jefferson Parish, trying to just find out, you know, how do I get a building permit, what kind of codes. They suggested calling Volunteers of America. kind of embarrassed, you know, to have to ask somebody to help me. 
as you can see, it came out perfect. It was just really, really a nice experience. So it's really nice to know if I do need some sort of help and I can't get a family member to do it, I have some place I can come. But it's given me more peace of mind. We have a lot of outdoor family gatherings. We have a big family, and he can go outside with us now. He can access it. He doesn't feel trapped in the house, and he can be outside with us, because when he wants to go back in, he can do it by himself. He doesn't have to bother anybody. It's just temporary help. It's like, I don't need it all the time. It's nice to know that if I need a little bit of help, I can get it without feeling like I'm begging or I'm on charity. It's just, it's a nice, nice feeling. My plan was to be a lifer in the military. I was gonna, you know, do my 20 years and, and, and plus if I could. I was injured during Desert Shield. We seen a boat lisping. Well, it turns out that they were smuggling ammunition in the hull of the boat. When I left the Navy, it was really traumatizing to me because I, I didn't know how I was going to handle civilian life at all. And I was going through uh, severe depression. Um, I had PTSD uh, from you know the, the injuries. Then I, I met somebody that was uh, through my church, hired me, trained me. If, if, if it wasn't the military, this was just the best uh, thing. And I was slowly adjusting to civilian life. I finally found a place for me that, that, that I felt like I belonged. I was working out here in the, in the yard and um, I had stepped wrong in, in the hole and, and my knee had, had given out. I remember laying down and I, I was calling, you know, for help. I knew nobody was was home. Bugs were crawling on me, and I'm I'm feeling hopeless. Basically, I felt like I really can't take care of myself. You know, eventually it got dark, and I finally called out, and uh, somebody heard me and called 911. I felt like I was not going to be able to contribute anything to myself or society anymore, and I didn't didn't want to be a part of it. I didn't want to be a burden. The next day, I get a phone call from Shelly from Volunteers of America. She was offering to help cut some red tape with the VA and, and help me get the knee surgery and all that stuff. A louder voice, you know, when you have Volunteers of America, that's a big organization, and somebody's calling the VA is like, Hey, why is this vet not, you know, that's huge, you know? She helped me realize that I can have a purpose. She helped me realize that there are other people out there that are just like me and that I can help them go through the motions, get the steps, uh, get them connected with the right people. I totally lost uh, my will to live uh, when I felt helpless, but thank goodness that Shelly was there to kick me in my butt and tell me, no, we're going to get this right. And I'm very grateful to Volunteers of America, very, very grateful to Shelly. 